Hey guys, I'm Nam248 here, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Walls of CCLP3. Today we're going to be taking on Unclaimed Maze and the 10 levels that come after. Okay, it might not actually be the 10 levels that come after, but I've made a pace of 11 per video. This pace obviously can't continue, but I'm going to make it continue for as long as I can. So, still recording this on Christmas Day, literally right after the last one. And this level must have been really open, so we'll keep an eye out for any um, any signature wall patterns that I can use to identify which level the walls came from. I'm pretty sure I've gotten them all so far. I didn't check the last video for the uh, designer comments yet. I'm going to do that after I'm done with uh, this recording. I kind of forgot I got distracted by responding to a uh, shortest average Shortest average level dur bold root duration by set discussion. Uh, CC2 is kind of hard to compare to the CC1 levels just because of the uh, timer items. And also untimed levels don't have times. So, a little bit interesting. Oh, this is, uh, this is on the coast. Uh, CC2 is still probably the shortest average level duration, but not by as much as the uh, naive calculation would have you set, would have it uh, suggest. What with Crazy2 taking three hours real time to get the 11, but just solving the level takes maybe a minute and a half of real time if you're just trying to solve it. But according to the calculation, it takes minus 11 seconds. Because the timer starts at zero and ends at 11. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, that stemmed from uh, SharpEye saying that CCLP4 uh, stalled itself too much, like every level longer than it needs to be. And then I realized that, well, I already knew that my repugnant nonsense improvement of two seconds changed it from being longer than Gimmick Isle by a second to being shorter than Gimmick Isle by a second. So Gimmick Isle is once again the longest level in CCLP4 by bold length. And what I realized from that was that, wait, every other set has a bold even longer than uh, Gimmick Isle's 227. Or rather, 772 remaining, 227 seconds taken. Every other set, even CCLP1, because Utter Clutter, time limit 777, and bold time of 543. This is from memory, so I might be off by one somewhere. Uh, but that, if it is 543, which it should be, and that's a duration of 234 seconds, which is longer. Just an interesting little stat. Uh, and when you look at the rest of the sets, even CC2 has something longer. Despite all its short levels, there's still, a, for one, Room to Breathe is quite long. I mean, I think Bomber's Maze is longer too, but it's hard to be uh, certain on that. Anyway, I've wandered around this maze. And let's go claim it. A little bit of block pushing to finish it off. I'm going to cheese this. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, Josh, if you care. But I imagine you knew that was possible. Boop. Boop. Yeah, I imagine that this was known about and just wasn't cared about. I think I'm, I think I'm not even able to go this way. Yeah, I'm not. Down we go. Oh, and I have to go hit the toggle button again. I like that little touch. Not the biggest fan of the block pushing necessarily, but I like the toggle button re-hit. Alright. Off to Hidden in the Scrap, which requires me to wait at the start. Yeah. 
Yes, I just restarted to turn on odd step. Don't judge me. But I saw that potential. Wanted less blocks or less monsters floating around there. Knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Please don't be on the same cycle. Thank you. Also, what? <laughs> what? So I have this block, obviously. I think that's the one I hit. Okay, good. Okay, this makes more sense now. This makes a lot more sense now. That lets me get flippers. So let's try and figure out what walls these even are. There's a lot of stuff in the uh, outer sections of this level. And I have a block here, but I can't really do anything with it. I mean, I can... Oh, wait, yes, I can. I have the blue key already. I don't have to get both keys to, like, come around from the other side. I can just clear the blue lock. So this level hits the border. Wait. This... I have a theory on this one, and I'll know if my theory is correct or not when I see the bottom left. Which is a really funny thing to say, and I thought I might regret that push, but fortunately I don't. Or the bottom right. Yep, this is Oho. Or ho -Oh. No, it's Oho. Oh ho -Oh is the Pokemon. Which I don't play, and I, I'm actually slightly surprised Josh didn't go for that for the title of this. Uh, but I think Hidden in the Scrap is better. It sounds a lot cooler, for one. Okay, so two chips left, and I know I've gotten all of these blocks that I've seen down here. Tricky one to place the uh, walls for, that's for sure. So this last one is probably up in the top right. Yep. And let's go back to the teleport. I assume the teleport's where I'm supposed to go. That's actually really cool. So let's keep going. No, no, no. I remember the green locks back there just led to the hint. The hint might be useful, but uh, I can go up here. Ooh. Well, I know where the glider turns, so... Alright, let's beat this level for real. Hidden in the scrap complete. That was pretty fun. So next up, Thunder Wave Cave. Let's see, four blocks, and what can I do with four blocks? Not much. Not much at all. I only need to get two, but... Two for a blue key and suction boots. Which I think this lets me get everything out. 
Oh! That's wrong because I need to be able to set up a nail here. But okay, now that I know I'm trying to set up a nail here, this becomes much easier. Not easy, but easier. There we go. And then with the suction boots, I can bridge across here. Nicely designed with that section. This is weird. Um, so still trying to figure out what level this is. I think this is to catch a thief. So let's see, I have this block and I'm gonna push it up now, just so I have it pushed up now. And the ordering here is a little unclear. Nice. So there's three buttons, and I need to get them all held down, obviously. And I'm going to do it without using the recessed wall, because I see a way to do that. I don't know if that's necessary or not. Um, it appeared to have been, so... Okay, this is where I'm going to go technically now and probably annoy people. But I could totally have used the recessed wall. But because I don't have to, I can just do this. Oh, wait, no, I do have to use the recessed wall for something else. So I just broke that. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I think I could have just pushed it that way instead and just done an extra loop. So I guess I'm not sorry. Let me guess. Blocked? No, I can actually get the yellow key. So there's one chip remaining somewhere. That's a nifty little shuffle. That's a really nifty little shuffle. I, th I suspect that shuffle is totally necessary, but I can't be totally sure either. So let's see, I can go that way once I get the flippers, and that should be Thunderwave Cave. These levels just keep getting better and better. Yeah, that lets me go down here and win. Sweet. Off to Eerie Crypts. Which... Hmm. What a weird start. All of these extra walls are going to make it a lot harder for me to try and place what this came from. But I'm up for the challenge. So we have a big open room with a bunch of walls on the side. And this pathway. Man, what's a CCLP3 level with a huge pathway like that? Big open room, pathway. Another really open room.
This is flamethrower. And this is not nice. So I didn't need to do that entire upper room. I'm just going to do the pass back through over here. Yep, walls from flamethrower. So I'm too curious to pass this up. I have to take a look up here and see if there's anything I can do. I just want to see if this room is actually used for anything or if it's just an empty dead end. Nope, it's a fake out hint room. That is a really interesting touch. Flamethrower is probably one of my favorite uh, CCLP3 levels to have optimized. Let's go Salad Kingdom, which this pretty clearly uses Patchwork, I think. Let's do as much as we can with these blocks. Alright. Let's go back down here and just start getting stuff, I guess. You could technically do some breaking of this level if you wanted to take some risks, but I won't be doing that here. Like, I'm, I'm good on playing it safe. And this is definitely patchwork. don't have too much to say about this one. It's just kind of a level. It's, it's kind of just here. Come on. Yeah, one thing I've noticed Josh has been doing, uh, or has done somewhat lately, is kind of just obligatory random force floor themed level. Um, my Cabbages in, what was it, Josh L6 was very much the obligatory here's a bunch of random force floors level. And I'm kind of of the opinion that random force floors are really hard to use well. And you don't necessarily need a level around them, or even to necessarily use them at all. But they can definitely add some uh, interest in a way that other tiles just simply can't do. But they have to be used carefully. And I'm not, I'm not sure about Salad Kingdom. Let's get a Spectral Blood Rave, which I'm just going to release the monsters to, and explore. I'm not sure if I need to use that for anything. Okay, so let's just wait for this bug to clear out. Sweet. I could have gone for the hint, but I'm good. Uh, that used damp, I could tell. So digitized disaster. Which, I, I know this level uses the, quote, walls of Monster Maze. And it's a very different approach to the usual uh, teleport maze. That kind of became a uh, trope. Let's get this one, come down here, get this one. I'm mostly trying to teleport in as predictable a manner as possible and not zip along like that so much. I'm a little paranoid about getting stuck.
Okay, you'll notice I can just go along the bottom and just get a bunch of stuff easily. Where am I? Um... So, still a lot of chips left. So the, the big thing about teleport levels like this is that you can get to the left a lot easier than you can get to the right. Nice. Six chips to go. Let's try and get that one. Nice, we're here. Um... Mmm, I have to enter a teleport to the right. One to go, and I saw it over here. But how do I get to there? I can't get to there! What? I would always come out... Oh, there are numerous extra chips. I wonder if Josh knew there was an unreachable one. I imagine he probably did. Alright, digitized disaster is down. Let's go semi-perfect stronghold. Um... <laughs> I've seen these before. Say hello to the level using the most overused walls in Chips Challenge history. <laughs> Which is funny because it's true. So this uses the walls of... Uh, Jumble 1. Also known as the walls of Fire is My Enemy. Also known as the walls of... Water is my friend, also known as the walls of Dilapidated Factory, and just the most overused walls in Chip's Challenge, right here. So, we'll, in the back of my mind is going to be all of those other levels, and we will see, we will see how this one sets itself apart. So, let's, let's do this the fancy way. That's not the fancy way. <laughs> Why do I like doing that so much? <laughs> I figured that was going to work like that. Kind of odd seeing another fourth floor level this close after the last one. Yep. So I, I did see the map for this and I was like, hi, you can do that block slide. I just wanted to do it here. It took me a couple tries, but I did it co pretty much cold. Nothing to do over there. Um, yeah, I've got nowhere to go but here, and I'm not sure what to do with this room. I think it's just setting up a nail, which it looks to be easy. But I'll need to nail out as well, and there's only three blocks in here. So that will let me do that. So the obligatory little block room. Hmm. So one common theme with a Walls of level is the use of teleports to connect separate sections and just kind of chain things together differently. No, I pushed down! I pushed down, you! 
You are not nice. <sighs> Figured it out. I did it right, and I have to do it again. Just because I pushed r down, and nothing happened. If I had input display, you'd like... It would be very obvious that I pushed down. That is always annoying when it happens. Doesn't happen often, but happens more often than it should. I don't trust pushing those for some reason. Okay. Let's go. I'll save this blue key. I don't think having this blue key is going to matter for the rest of the level, but I want it anyway. Okay, back where we were, and I already know how to do this little block room, which is pretty pretty nicely laid out. Push the block, get more fire boots. Repeat the process. I think this is probably the best use of this side room. Um, among all of the uses of the of these walls. And I still have fire boots, so let's come up here. I still have fire boots. Okay, that could have been really bad. I don't know what I expected. Eight move path, four move path. Hmm. Okay, I end up teleporting, so it's safe. Here we go. Nice secret hint placement. Or no, that's not even a secret hint placement, is it? That's just a really cool ending. I like that ending room quite a bit. All right, let's go Thief and Teeth, which uses red, green, and blue. So what are we trying to do? I mean, there's obviously uh, trap buttons and stuff. Oh, I have to get suction boots to release this teeth. And I need those suction boots at the end. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. At least this loop down here exists. Alright, this one seems like it's going to be pretty hard. Okay, where do we want to target next? Let's go for this one because it should be a joke. So this right side has been not hard so far.
Okay, this is not as hard as I was expecting it to be. So we still have one trap button down in the bottom left. Let's bring this teeth back out from this upper section. Okay, now I just have to dodge it. Can I sideswipe here? No. I have to use this little uh, turnaround point. And if I wait here, teeth will blow up the bomb. And let me complete Thief and Teeth. Alright, should I do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. I want to do Socket Shrine. So this uses... Well... Hmm. A trap. We'll see what this uses. Okay, this is pretty obviously just based on the sockets. And based on all these little side paths and stuff, this is almost definitely a toggle bust. Cute! Cute blob cloner. Like, I know, I, I know that's kind of a thing I've been saying lately, that something is cute. Mostly just like, it's an amusing little piece of design. Like, not necessarily the most interesting or original, but I like it nonetheless. It's just... just I smile when I see it, because it's just a nice touch. So, where was the blue key? Or the blue lock? That was a dead end. Let's teleport up and see where that goes. Oh, okay, it brings me here now. Oh, and then I can teleport up again. Okay, I get it, I get it. I appreciate how not the entire space was used for a socket shrine here. Because Toggle Bust is one of the worst offenders of being just too big um, across any set. Like, there is no reason for Toggle... And again with my down button! Why? Yeah, there is no reason for Toggle Bust to go on as long as it does. Man, that is weird. I've never had issues with my down button before. And now I've had an issue with it twice in one recording. Like, not even recording session, just recording. Let's just do this uh, non-linear bit of collection stuff. And get back where we were. Man. That is kind of annoying. At least we know where we're going. We can get back there a lot quicker. Like, um, literally almost half the time. So we're going to hit this button down here first. Mm. 
Okay. Tank button. Which I appreciate being able to see that tank and just recognize what needs doing there. Because otherwise this part could get a little painful. Okay, so I don't know what I need to use this block for. And now I do. Now I can go through this path and all the chips at once. That's a really cool little touch. So let's go find that exit. I assume the exit's going to be in one of the corners. Oh, uh, there's more. How am I going to get rid of that bomb? Okay, what do I have available to deal with that bomb? I have this block again! Alright, it can't go that way. But it can go that way. Okay, we have a path cleared for it. Man, that reuse of the block. I don't think I would have thought to do that. I'm not sure I would have done that even had I thought to do that. But, or if I did, it would have been a, a little more freedom. But that is Socket Shrine down. So in the next video, we will be taking on Rolling Stones. So until next time, thanks for watching and later.